Right guys, so as you can see we are back on part 2 of the 3D motion tracking tutorial and this is where we left off here on the Bougie where we just exported our Cinema 4D file um, so if I come out of Bougie now you can see I've got my tutorial file here so I'm just going to double click that and it's going to open up Cinema 4D and we've got our um, I've already got text in there um, we've got our motion tracked um, option here, uh, motion tracked file here, sorry, and basically if we press play you can see the camera moves along, um, but obviously there's nothing here at the moment, if we render there's nothing going on, it's just a black screen. And So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by adding a background. So when we add a background you need to make a material by double clicking here and then double click on it again and you need to delete the specu or untick the specular box and you're going to just want the color box and you're going to want to click on texture and click across and click to load image and you're going to want to be on your sequence that you took from Sony Vegas so for me it's the Apex SEQ1 I'm going to open that and click the first image in the sequence and click open uh, click no on this box and you're going to get your image here and then you want to double click on this little box of the image there and go to the animation tab at the top and click calculate and what that's going to do is that's going to put in all your frames uh, and every single image that's in your image sequence so then when we close we need to drag the material onto the background and when we play you'll see we've got the motion track in here um, which is great so we're going to go back to the start now of this and we're going to click the mo, mo graph and add a mo text and that's going to add it over there because that's where we set up our geometry if you remember and if we go over there now you can see the text is here so you can just move it a little bit so that it's you know where you want it to be um, and we're just going to, I'm just, for this time I'm just going to write phaser on there um, like that and make the depth about a hundred um, go ahead and change the font um, that will do um, add some caps, I'm just doing basic stuff to the text, this doesn't really apply to the motion tracking, I'm just making the text look nice um, so if we render now you can see you've got nice looking text that looks as though it's on the floor um, I'm going to maybe move it back a little so you can read it a bit easier so there we go that all looks nice um, and I'm just going to create a material to colour that so I'm just going to very quickly add a basic material um, you guys can do what you want with your material doesn't really matter um, I'm just going to make one for me quick I'm just going to make a nice sort of black um, that's fine put that on there um, so there we go nice coloured text um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put make it so we can put some shadows on this uh, on this because as you see like we've got some shadows here coming from the van we've got no shadows coming from the text and you know that doesn't look great so we're going to add a light um, and we're going to put the light in the center of the text and drag it away, drag it up so it's going to light up our scene um, and then we are going to on these light settings click shadow and click shadow map soft but as you can see if we render now no, no shadows, nothing happens and the reason for that is we need to add a floor and once we add the floor when you render you've got the nice shadows right but the, the floor's taking up the whole of the scene so you need to click on floor and right click go to cinema 4d tags and add a compositing tag and click off self shadowing and turn on compositing background and then you want to drag the same material from the background onto the floor and as you'll see now if we render that's all tiled um, it's done it in tiles so you need to click on the material that is on floor and go to projection and change it to frontal and then when we render perfect you've got your shadows there but these shadows are really dark whereas these shadows you know aren't so dark so if you go to your light um, go
go to your shadow tab and turn the density of the shadows down to maybe say 65 um, when you render again you'll see you've got a lot calmer shadows there I mean obviously it doesn't look exactly the same for the shadows um, but you know it's sort of the the van's giving off like a different sort of color shadow whereas this is giving off a black shadow um, but then for your shadows just you know reposition your light work on your um, work on your position and stuff to get your shadows right but as you'll see we've got our text here and if I click play now um, very slowly but it is going to come round and if I just keep clicking around here it's going to motion track all the way around and there you have it the text there so yeah guys that's basically how to motion track um, don't worry about these side bits where you can see sort of extra stuff coming through because that's just out of the if I click on here you can see the perspective that's out of the perspective um, and when it's out of the perspective it just adds it on there because of what we've done with the floor so you will only get what's inside the perspective here um, so yeah that's basically how to motion track text 3D um, if you have any problems just leave a comment below or send me a message and I will answer all comments um, I'll try to help everyone out the best I can um, but apart from that leave a like leave a sub if you want to see some more um, tutorials and stuff like that uh, maybe even favorite the video if you're going to be coming back to it in the future so thanks guys and that's everything